in this video. Our technical analysis for the Ethereum price action played out exactly as predicted. And on top of that, Bitcoin broke down from this ascending channel support. But the question is, what is next with the Bitcoin price action as well as the SLP price action? Stay tuned to know more. So hi guys and welcome back to another Gab cryptocurrency video where we trade by data and not by hype. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out daily technical analysis like this. So let's dive into this video and let's give you a quick recap of our previous analysis. So, medyo na delay yung ating video ngayon kasi kahapon wala ako. But yeah, right now, let's give you an update. So, as of the time being, as you can see, Bitcoin is currently declining. And di ba, kahapon, or actually the last time na minomonitor natin si Bitcoin, nandito siya sa area na yan. And di ba, sabi kasi inyo, ang kailangan nyo i-monitor is this support area na nag-form sa ascending channel. Kasi if we're going to break that, then our targets are more like going to be the 41, the 40.6k as well as the 39.4k and look at that we actually met those targets exactly and because of that yung mga buy orders na sinabi ko na isang araw ay nagfill na you can see nagfill na around the 39,500 as well as the 41,200 so right now na fill na yung mga buy orders ko with the bitcoin price action so nakapag buy the dip na ako ngayon kay bitcoin but the question is what is next for the bitcoin price action if we're going to look at the early siguro let's look at the early mm, let's try to look at the rsi and understand the movement Siguro, wala pa, actually, wala pa tayong signs of a bullish trend reversal if you're going to look at this. So, as of, as of the time being, I think we are going to expect more consolidation dito. Or if not, if hindi consolidation, possible na magpahinga lang muna yan. Then, possible na mag-go down pa ulit si Bitcoin. Pero right now, I don't think na maganda na mag-enter into any trade kasi look at this. The RSI is now below 30, indicating na that is a goodbye opportunity. Pero when it comes to a trend reversal, wala pa tayong signs of any bullish trend traversal. So in this case, what are we going to wait next for the Bitcoin price action? So sa ngayon, ang aabangan natin is mag-form siya ng bullish trend traversal indicator which is the price should be declining at the same time, the RSI should be increasing. Because in that case, if, if nagde-decline yung price as well as the RSI is increasing, then that could be a sign of a bullish trend traversal which is sa ngayon, wala pa tayo nakikita. So right now, that is what we are going to monitor and as you can see, ganun din yung nangyari previously kay Bitcoin. The price was declining while the RSI is increasing. That's why we saw a bullish trend reversal. So, sa ngayon, possible na mag-decline pa lalo dito si Bitcoin. Pero when it comes to a bullish trend reversal, wala pa talagang signs of any bullish reversals pa talaga dito kay Bitcoin price action. And I think ang crucial area na kailangan natin tingnan dito would be this support area around the 38.2k. Kasi yun nga, dun tayo previously nag-hold as support. And as you can see, this area in na pinaglalaroan ngayon ni Bitcoin, this area was previously a resistance area. So right now, this is now going to act as a massive support area for the Bitcoin price action. So I think we might consolidate dito, but still no signs of a bullish trend reversal. So that is still what we are going to wait this one out. And siguro patient lang muna dito with the Bitcoin price action if you want to play this one out. And if you want to enter into any big trades, sa ngayon wala pa tayong signs talaga na it's a swing trade sa ngayon. But and guys, if you want to trade Bitcoin with the lowest fees possible, one of the best places to trade that is actually in Bybit, and if you want to claim bonus with Bybit, just use my sign-up link and you can find the description down below. Now, let's dive into the altcoin markets by following the Bitcoin dominance. And ba? Bitcoin dominance is a performance indicator telling us if Bitcoin is going to perform better or si Ethereum. And para sa mga baguhan, bigyan natin kayo ng brief explanation on what is a Bitcoin dominance indicator. So the Bitcoin dominance is actually going to tell us if Bitcoin is performing better. And that is by looking at this. If pataas yung dominance, then that would indicate the Bitcoin is going to perform better and altcoins are more likely going to underperform. Ibig sabihin, mas makukuha ni Bitcoin yung attention. And in that case, mas healthy yung galaw ng Bitcoin market. But if let's say the dominance is declining pa babayan, then that would indicate na altcoins are going to perform better against Bitcoin or it's going to indicate na altcoins are going to be healthier than the Bitcoin price action. In that case, if pa babayan ang ating dominance, maganda yung galawan ng altcoin market. So in this case, you should be investing with the Bitcoin price action if the dominance is increasing and you should be investing with the altcoin market if the dominance is declining. And right now, dominance is declining indicating that the altcoin market is right now rel relatively healthy for the time being. So with that being said, let's dive into the altcoin market. If we're going to look at Ethereum price action, the buy-in monitor natin kahapon was this rising wedge forming within the 4-hour time frame. 
Diba sabi ko sa inyo, if nabrick natin yung support, then I'm going to open a short position. And look at that. We broke the support and it actually met one of our targets exactly as predicted. And look at this. Ano ba yung mga targets natin? Well, initially, our first target was actually around the 2.7k area which was actually met. And the second target was around the 2.6k which namit na din natin exactly. So right now, this is what I'm currently monitoring with Ethereum. And as you can see, if you're going to look at the early time frame, we might be possibly forming a bullish indicator right now with the very short term. But yeah, this is for the very short term nga lang. I don't expect na massive move pa din with the Ethereum price action. Because if you're going to look at the 4-hour time frame, wala tayong bullish divergence. This is only seen in the early time frame. In the 4-hour time frame, walang signs of a bullish reversal. So siguro I'm going to expect more consolidation mun muna dito with the Ethereum price action within the 2.6k up until the 2.7k. So that is still possible. But when it comes to a massive bullish trend reversal dito kay Ethereum, still no signs pa. Kasi typically, what we want to see is the price is declining while the RSI is increasing. Then yun tayo magkakaroon ng sign of a bullish indicator or bullish trend reversal signal. So right now, abang-abang muna tayo kay Ethereum. Pero take note, nag-buy the dip na rin na ako kay Ethereum. Nag-fill in yung buy orders ko kay Ethereum. Look at this guys. Di ba nag-sell ako na Ethereum the other day? Around the 2,970 US dollars. Pero nag-buy in ako ulit around the 2,700 US dollars. So as of the time being, I'm already in profits na nga with the Ethereum price action. And take a look at this guys, meron pa din ako actually buy orders na nakahanda with the Ethereum price action. Take a look at this. Mga buy orders ko, meron pa ako at around the 2,450 US dollars. Para if ever, let's see, lalo pa nag-decline sa Ethereum, then meron pa akong pangbili. Meron din ako around the 2,000 US dollars as well as kay Bitcoin, may 28 as well as 32,000 US dollars kay Bitcoin. Yun yung aking mga spot wallet orders as well as yung aking minamonitor right now with the Ethereum price action. And now let's dive in with the SLP price action. Kasi look at this right now, we are getting... A good bounce ito with the SLP price action which is around this previous support area ni SLP. And diba sabi ko sa inyo, if the dominance is declining, then that is indicating now the outcome market is going to perform better and it's going to be healthy. Look at this, SLP is remaining healthy for the time being. So diba sabi ko sa inyo, in order for SLP to remain healthy, Bitcoin must somehow remain healthy and at the same time, it should not break massive support areas dito with the Bitcoin price action. But as you can see, Right now, we are entering into a massive support area with the Bitcoin price. At the same time, dominance is declining. And that is a good window opportunity right now with the SLP price action. So with that being said, ano ba yung magiging target natin dito with the SLP? Or ano ba yung magiging target price natin? So ang target price natin dito would be around 0 0.222 US dollars or 0 0.222 cents. And that is actually the previous resistance ni SLP. So right now, that is what I am currently monitoring with the SLP. And if you're going to look at the early nag enter tayo ng good buying opportunity kagabi. Ah, hindi. Actually, kanina pala. Tinan nyo. Kasi diba sabi ko sa inyo, the best buying opportunity is whenever the RSI is below 30. And the good selling opportunity is whenever the RSI is above 70. So right now, we are now entering into an overbought territory indicating that right now is one of the best time to sell SLP for the very short term. But when it comes to the bigger time frame, let's say you want to follow this for the 4-hour time frame, still no signs of a massive bullish trend reversal. So, so right now, siguro itong pump, it's for the very short term lang up until the 0 0.22 US dollars. So it's just more likely going to be a short term consolidation dito pa din with the SLP price action. Just a short term pump kasi look at this. Still no signs of a bullish trend reversal dito with the SLP price action. So as of the time being, I'm going to expect more consolidation dito with the SLP price action kasi yun nga, wala pa talaga tayong clear signs of a bullish trend reversal dito kay SLP price action. Pero guys, if you want to long or short SLP, one of the only places that you can do that is actually with Bybit. Kasi dito kay Bybit, you can actually long or short SLP. Hindi siya pwede kay Binance. So if you want to trade SLP, you can actually do that here. And if you want to claim bonus with SLP, this is my sign-up link. Now you can find the description down below. So in muna update for the time being. If you find this video useful and informative, please give this video a like. And if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video and bye-bye for now.